cool start to the work week and a cool start to the month of November all across west central Ohio. Temperatures this afternoon struggled to reach a high of 50 degrees. Most of the afternoon temperatures in the 40s. We started this morning at a frosty 35 and temperatures tonight, if anything, will be a little bit cooler, likely falling back to close to the freezing mark and near or below freezing for many of the next several nights. At this point, the growing season is just about done. Live view now, Long I-75 showing dry pavement, partly cloudy weather. As we move forward through the evening, most of us will stay precipitation free. It's 49 degrees now in Bluffton, 46 as we look to the south in Wapakoneta, 45 degrees now in Minster. It's partly cloudy, some extra clouds out there. We're seeing what's looking to be some precipitation on radar, but as I mentioned earlier, the vast majority of this not reaching the ground because of a very dry, low-level air mass. Still the risk of a spotty sprinkle, but as I pointed out, that still looks to be the exception to the rule. Most of us will stay dry overnight. A storm system is now stationed over eastern Canada. It's a large storm system, and it's going to stay nearly stationary over the next several days. As that happens, spokes of energy will rotate around the base of this low-pressure trough. And with that, some extra clouds, and especially just to our north, the chance of a sprinkle or a flurry over by the Michigan border and into Canada, as we'll see a little bit of lake enhancement out that way. But locally, I don't see much of any precipitation aside from just a spotty sprinkle right on through the rest of the work week. Partly cloudy skies for this evening and overnight as temperatures fall back. We'll go with a mix of sun and clouds for our Tuesday in the morning and afternoon. Again to the north by the Michigan border, a couple of those sprinkles out there, but they shouldn't amount to much. Partly cloudy, even colder for tomorrow night. Wednesday, we'll start with a mix of sun and clouds, and we'll keep that into the afternoon. As I pointed out earlier again, still to the north, a couple of those sprinkles around Defiance and toward the Michigan border, but not much of that close to home. 46 degrees in Lima by 9 p.m., 46 degrees in Salina. Later tonight, temperatures fall back to close to the freezing mark under a partly cloudy sky. And then for tomorrow, with that mix of sun and clouds, we're back into the mid to upper 40s, so still chilly into the afternoon, especially in the shade. If anything, tomorrow night temperatures turn colder still and we'll start our Wednesday morning in the upper 20s for portions of our area before climbing back into the 40s Wednesday afternoon. Partly cloudy, cold for tonight as temperatures fall back to the freezing mark. A mix of sun and clouds on the way for tomorrow. A chilly day. There will be a breeze out of the west, occasionally gusting as high as 15 miles per hour. And again, mid to upper 40s for our high. Seven-day storm authority forecast for Wednesday starting off in the upper 20s. A high of 46 degrees. Same general idea Thursday, mid 40s with a mix of sun and clouds. More sunshine on Friday and Saturday. Saturday evening before bedtime, remember to switch those clocks back one hour in observance of the end of daylight saving time. Partly cloudy, a little milder Sunday, and then 60 with a mix of sun and clouds next Monday. Tie.